Namaste. This will be a 40 minute practice to try to just simply but effectively release all bits of the body moving in all different directions. Practice with patience, humility, and compassion towards your own body and your own self. Let's please start in child's pose. So bring your knees about shoulder width apart, your big toes together and pointing back. Allow the hips to track back towards your heels, the forehead to rest towards the floor. Start with your arms reaching out in front of you so you can ground your hands and allow the hips to travel further back. And then take a couple of breaths, just letting the breath unopen, uh, open up through the body, through the back especially, any tight parts that you can feel. And staying in child's pose, you start to walk your hands over to the right side of your mat, maybe even coming off your mat. So you're adding a little bit of a left side body stretch. And try to allow the left hand to creep further over to the right and even stretch the fingertips further away from you. But even as you creep that left hand over, nail back the left sit bone and lean into your left outer rib cage to get that extra space. Take a breath there. And then with an inhale, just walk your hands back to center and let's change. So exhale, walk your hands over to the left side of your mat, maybe even coming off your mat. And it's more the right hand that you're focusing on. Creep that further over to the left, maybe even stretch the fingertips further away from you. But as you do that, nail back your right sit bone and lean into that right outer ribs to get that extra space. Hollow out that right armpit too, if that feels good. Take a breath into that space. With an inhale, bring your hands back to center and spend one more breath softening in child's pose. With your next inhale, come smoothly forward to all fours, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. With an exhale, round your back for cat stretch, pressing your hands down to open your middle back. Lift the crown of the head, lift the tailbone as you inhale. Drawing the heart forward, the shoulders down. And rounding again as you exhale, pressing your hands into your mat. Let's do that twice more, please. Inhaling, trying to unlock the sticky, unwilling parts of the spine, less reliance on the more willing part. And exhaling to round, really opening up, emptying out your lungs as you round. One more time now, inhaling to lift up. Silky breath, exhaling to round. Neutral spine, inhale, tuck the toes. Downward facing dog as you exhale, press your thighs back. Pad out your heels for a moment, bending one knee and pressing the opposite heel down. Ground your hands down, arms strong and straight, but let your head and your face get heavy and soft, releasing down as though towards the floor. Maybe even shake your head out if that feels releasing to your neck. Coming into a still down dog now, so stretching both heels back and down away from your toes like you're trying to make your feet longer, pressing the tops of the thighs back into the hamstrings and lifting up through the sit bones. With your next exhale, just release back down onto your knees and bring your left hand in towards your right hand. So left hand a little further to the center of your mat. You're gonna to twist to your right as you inhale, reaching that right arm up to the sky, turning to the right. And exhale, thread the right arm underneath your left arm as though the right arm's reaching towards the left side of the room. But we'll do that twice more. So inhale, turn and reach over to the right, turning around through the chest. And exhaling, thread the right arm through in that space under the left arm. One more time, inhale, turn and reach. Can you square the hips a little more this time around? And exhale, thread it through. Stretch a little further away with the right arm. Come back to all fours. Inhale, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog as you exhale, press your thighs back. Staying in down dog, just walk your feet towards you about two inches or so, so you're in a shorter downward dog. Ground down through that left hand, and with your right hand, grab somewhere along the outer left shin or ankle. 
It's a right hand grabbing the outer left leg. Twist the chest round to peek underneath your left armpit and ground your left hand a lot, lifting up and back through your sitting bones. With your next exhale, release the right hand back down. Walk the feet back a little bit again. Inhale, drop down to your knees as you exhale back to all fours. Bring the right hand in towards the left hand so the right hand's a bit more in the center of your mat and we'll change sides. So inhale, turn to the left, reach up through your left arm. Exhale, thread it through, reaching the left arm to the right side of the room under the right arm. Two more times, inhale, turn and reach, turning round through the chest. Exhale, thread it through, reaching the left arm over. One more time. Inhale, turn and reach, maybe keeping the hips just that little bit square. And exhale, thread it through, reach that left arm around. Back to all fours, inhale, tuck your toes. Downward facing dog, exhale. Keep breathing, but walk your feet towards you a little bit, just shortening out the down dog. Ground your right hand, and with your left hand now, grab somewhere along the outer right leg, so right shin, ankle with your left hand. Turn the chest round like you're peeking under your right armpit. Ground your right hand a lot, stretching back into those heels, stretching back through the sit bones as you turn around through your chest. With an inhale, release your left hand down. And with your exhale, just creep those feet back a little bit so you, again, you're a nice long down dog. With an inhale, come forward to plank pose. You can drop your knees if you want. Exhale, lie all the way down, down to the floor, onto your belly. Point your toes back, sphinx pose, come onto your forearms, elbows on the floor. And with the elbows on the floor, slide the elbows forward, the forearms too, forward enough so the elbows are right under your shoulders or even an inch forward than the shoulders. As you ground the elbows, lift up through the crown of the head. Rodney Yee calls this TV watching pose. But if you were going to watch TV in this pose, you might just slump. And this is still a yoga pose, sphinx pose. Ground the elbows and resist the slump. Lift up through the tops of the ears. Lift up through the crown of your head. Pull the chest forward as the shoulders almost draw back and down. One more full breath there, lengthening forward and up. And as you exhale, release back down again. Slide your hands back so they're under your shoulders. Inhale, lift up to all fours. And as you exhale, round your back for cat stretch again. With an inhale, lift that right leg up in the air behind you. Stretch back through the right toes. Knee to your nose as you exhale and round through your back. Press your hands down. Lift the leg again, inhale. And step the foot up between your hands as you exhale. If it gets stuck, use your right hand to yoink it up. Now come up onto your fingertips. Pull the chest forward towards the wall in front of you and bend deeply into your front knee. Those left toes are pointing back and ground all five of those left toenails into your mat. Now, if you have a sensitive lower back, keep your fingertips on the floor. If you're happy to go a little further, bring your hands onto the right knee, but then keep sinking into your front knee, lifting up through your chest that little bit more, but getting a lot of space through your lower back. As you next inhale, reach the left arm up in the air, get extra space there. And as you exhale, hook the left elbow outside the right knee, preparing for a twist. When you're in it, bring your hands to prayer. Press the right palm down into the left palm to turn the chest round. Try to pick the left rib cage up as though towards the prayer, so you're drawing your chest round towards your thumbs. Lengthen out the back of your neck and take one more breath. As you next inhale, bring your hands back to the floor again. Exhale, step back to all fours, slide that right knee back. Inhale, lift the crown of the head, lift the tailbone there, just like pressing the reset button. And round your back as you exhale, cat stretch again. Lift up your left leg from here, inhale, stretch back through the toes. Knee to your nose as you exhale and round through your back. Lift the leg again, inhale. Step the foot lightly up between the hands as you exhale. Remember, if it gets stuck, use your left hand. You won't get up there. Come onto your fingertips. Deepen the lunge forward and lift up through your chest. Point the right toes back. Ground all five of those right toenails into your mat. But even as you sink into your front knee, ground the front heel too. Lower back issues, or if this feels enough, stay here. Otherwise, build it. Bring your hands onto your left knee, lifting up through your torso. 
But even as you lift up, sink forward and lift the front pelvis up away from the left thigh. With your next inhale, stretch up through the right arm, getting even longer there. Exhale, hook the right elbow outside your left knee, preparing for a reverse prayer twist. Bring the hands to prayer, press the left palm down into the right palm, turn the chest around. And as you breathe, keep working those back toes into your mat, keep drawing the shoulders down, freeing up the sides of your neck. Lift up that right rib cage to get that extra twist. One more breath. As you inhale, bring both hands back to the floor. Step back to all fours again as you exhale. Lift the crown of the head, lift the tailbone. Inhale, and this time tuck the toes. Downward facing dog, exhale, press your thighs back. Walk your feet up towards your hands as you inhale. So ending up at the front part of your mat. Grab your elbows and hang, let the head go. You can keep your knees deeply bent or maybe a little bend in your knees, but head super heavy, face soft and relaxed. And without letting go of the elbows, just imagine the forearms were becoming heavier so the arms can create extra traction and space in your spine. With your next exhale, release your hands down to the floor. Pull the chest forward, inhale, hands on the shins or the ground. Step back to downward facing dog again as you exhale, hands down, both feet back. Come forward to plank pose as you inhale, dropping your knees if you'd like. Lie all the way down as you exhale, all the way down to the belly. Point the toes back and keep your hands as they are, so they're by the rib cage, but lift up onto your fingertips like little teepee hands. Draw the shoulders back, your elbows point straight back and lift up like your fingertip cobra. Ground the tops of your feet, ground the pubic bone, and pull your chest forward and up, which is different than just lifting the chin. Keep length in the back of your neck. As you inhale, draw those shoulders further back, lift up a little higher. And as you exhale, release all the way back down, plant your hands, all fours, inhale, tuck the toes, downward facing dog, exhale, press your thighs back. Walk your feet back up towards your hands, inhale, Grab your elbows and hang as you exhale, but then again, just allow the hands to change so the opposite forearms in front, maybe the opposite wrist is in front, it's a bit easier to find. Knees a little bit bent, head super heavy, forearms getting heavier to create that extra space. With your next exhale, release your hands so they fall. Draw the chest forward, inhale, lengthen your spine a lot. Step your left foot back, deep lunge as you exhale. Now you're gonna keep your left knee straight and your left heel up off the floor. Crescent pose, inhale, reach both arms up over your head. Now bend your back knee a little so you can lengthen your tail down and square your hips forward. And keeping your hips square forward, bend a little deeper into your front knee and then try to straighten that left leg a little bit more. With your next inhale, bring your hands down to the floor again. Keep your front foot where it is so the right foot stays there. And exhale, straighten the front leg as best you can. You can hop your left foot in a step if you want. Hands can be on a brick or two or maybe on the shin or the ground. Draw the hip crease of the right leg back in this forward facing triangle. Big old stretch through the back of the right leg. One more breath, let your head go. And as you inhale, put a little bend in your right knee again. As you exhale, walk your hands around to the left side of your mat, pivoting your feet to make your feet parallel, your heels in line, so all 10 toes are facing the left side of the room. Come up onto your fingertips and lift up through your chest. Inhale deeply, lift your sit bones too. And exhale, fold, letting the crown of the head lengthen floorward, maybe walking your hands through the legs, but letting the head really go waking up through the toes, the soles of the feet, lifting up and back through the sit bones. Take a breath. And as you inhale, come back into a flat back position, drawing the crown of the head forward. Bring the left hand onto the floor underneath the face. Bring the right hand onto your sacrum, the lowest part of your back. Lengthen and straighten out through your spine. Inhale and twist round towards your right as you exhale. Option one, keep your right hand as, as it is, so it's on your lower back. 
Option two, reach the right arm straight up to the sky. And option three, bring the right hand around behind you. Try to grab your inner left thigh and spin the chest open, leaning that right shoulder back towards the wall behind you. Take one more breath. With an exhale, release your right hand back on the floor. Left hand now to your sacrum. Inhale, lengthen, straighten out through your spine. Exhale, twist around towards the back of your space. And one, left hand stays there. Two, left arm reaches up. Three, left hand comes around behind you, grabs your inner right thigh. But let that twist sing. Lean that left shoulder back towards the front of your space, getting that extra space into your left waist. Take one more breath there. And as you exhale, release that left hand back to the ground. Inhale, walk your hands round to the front of your mat and pivot your feet. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. We'll move through our first vinyasa. So glide to plank pose, inhale, drop your knees if you want. Lie down or hover chaturanga as you exhale, elbows back, belly strong. Cobra or upward facing dog as you inhale. If your arms are straight, lift up your thighs. Downward facing dog as you exhale, press your thighs back. Walk, step, or jump the feet to your hands. Inhale, heart pulls forward when you arrive. Fold deeply as you exhale. Check that your feet are about hip width apart and turn them straight. Bend into your knees, chair pose. Inhale, bend and reach the arms up. Sink a little deeper into your heels. With your next inhale, clasp your hands behind your back. Stretch back through your knuckles. And as you exhale, fold. Glue your torso to your thighs. Let your head go, let your hands travel. Maybe then the legs start to work straighter, but lifting up the sit bones and letting the head go. Two more breaths. And as you exhale, maybe your hands travel that little bit further. Maybe your head can be a little heavier. With an inhale, just bring your hands back towards your lower back. Exhale, hands down towards the ground. Drag the chest forward, inhale. Get really long in your spine. Step back your right foot as you exhale, deep lunge. Keep your right knee strong, your right heel lifted. Crescent pose, inhale. Reach up through your arms. As you breathe, bend your back knee a bit. Lengthen your tail down, scoop the front pelvis up. Then bend a little deeper forward into your front knee and work to start straightening out that right leg, stretching back through the inner heel. Take a breath. With an inhale, bring your hands back down to the floor. Keep the front foot where it is. Exhale, straighten the front leg, hopping your back foot in a step if you want. Hands on the shin, a block or two, or the floor. But the hip crease of the left leg drawing back, the ball of the left big toe grounding down as you stretch the back of that left leg. Two more breaths, forward facing triangle. And with your next inhale, put a little bend in your left knee again. Exhale, walk your hands round to the right side of your mat now. Pivot your feet, make your feet parallel, heels in line. All ten toes now facing the right side of your room. Come up onto your fingertips, pull your chest forward. Inhale, lift up your sit bones and fold deeply as you exhale. You can keep your hands on the floor like you did before, or maybe now grab your outer ankles and bend the elbows gently out to the side, drawing the crown of your head further down, but keeping length and space in your spine as the sit bones lift up. Take a breath. As you exhale, release your hands back to the floor. Inhale, draw the chest forward, lengthen up through your spine. Now pause in that flat back position. And with an exhale, bring your hands onto your hips, knitting together your belly super strong in your flat back. Inhale, stand all the way up. And when you're up, exhale, clasp your hands behind you for the second interlace, the one that feels a bit funny, other little finger on top. Draw back through your shoulders, lift up through your chest, big breath in, and fold your way down as you breathe out. Let the hands travel away from your lower back. Optionally, bend your knees to take your legs out of the equation. Let the head go and take two more breaths, letting the hands travel just that little bit more. As you inhale, just bring your hands back to your lower back and exhale hands all the way down towards the ground. Walk your hands round to the front of your mat as you inhale, pivot your feet, 
Step back to downward facing dog as you exhale. Your choice, child's pose for a rest. Hold your down dog and catch your breath or follow your breath through a vinyasa. Inhale, come forward to plank, drop your knees if you want. Exhale, lie down or hover. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Shoulders back and down, neck long. Downward facing dog as you exhale, press your thighs back. If you're in child's, come back to down dog now. And everyone, as you inhale, lift up through your right leg. Exhale, warrior two, right foot up between your hands, left heel pivots down. Inhale, lift up through your body, stretch out through your arms. And as you bend into your front knee, track it in line with the center of the foot and work the back leg nice and strongly. As you inhale, now straighten up the front leg. So both legs are straight. Exhale, triangle, reach your right arm forward and down to your shin, turn the chest. Option one, left hand to your left hip. Option two, reach that left arm straight up. Option three, bring the left hand round behind you, grab your inner right thigh and spin that left shoulder open. Draw the crown of your head forward as the tail looks back. And as you turn and open your chest out, draw those front ribs back. Take a breath there. And as you inhale, bend into your front knee, the right knee. Exhale, back up to warrior two again. Reverse warrior, inhale, reach up through the right arm, left hand light on your left leg. And with your exhale, cartwheel your hands down, step smoothly back to downward facing dog. Let's flow, glide to plank pose, inhale, drop your knees if you want. Lie down or hover as you exhale, elbows bend back. Cobra or upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Lift up your left leg, please inhale. Warrior two, exhale. Lift up through your body, stretch out through your arms. Bend into your front knee, but working the back leg nice and strong, letting the tail get heavy. And with an inhale, straighten up the front leg. Exhale, triangle, left arm reaches forward and down to your shin. Turn the chest, one right hand, right hip, two right arm reaches up. Three, right hand comes around behind you, grabs your inner left thigh, lean your right shoulder back, freeing up the right collarbone. And then everyone draw the crown of the head forward, draw the tail down, and turning through your chest, just soften the front ribs back. Take a breath there. And as you inhale, bend the front knee again. Back up to warrior two, exhale, bend the front knee a little more. Reverse warrior two, inhale, reach up the left arm, right hand light, open up that left side. And as you inhale, cartwheel your hands down, your exhale steps you back to downward facing dog. Take child's option one, hold your down dog option two, flow through your vinyasa option three. If you're in child's, come back to your downward dog. And everyone, as you inhale, step walk or jump the feet to your hands, heart forward when you arrive. Fold as you exhale all the way. Bring your feet together now. And with your feet together, sit into chair pose. Inhale, bend your knees and reach your arms up. Sink down into your heels. Staying in chair, inhale, hands to prayer in front of your heart. Exhale, twist to your right. Hook your left elbow over the right thigh without letting the hips swing a lot over towards the left side of your room. Ground your hands together to turn the chest and have a little glance down at your knees. Make sure they're still together. As you inhale, come back into chair pose. Maybe sit a little deeper if you can. And exhale, change sides, please. Hook that right elbow over the left thigh, hands to prayer. Press the palms to turn the chest round without swinging your hips over to the right side of your room. And again, just have a little glance at your knees and make sure they're together. As you inhale, come back into chair last time. Anchor your heels. Exhale, forward bend. Hands down, work the legs straight. Draw the chest forward. Inhale, lengthen. Step your left foot back into a deep lunge. And then even when you've stepped it back, creep it even further back and then drop down to your left knee. Creep the right foot over to the right a couple of steps so your right hand can come inside your right foot. Drop your pelvis down, but as you drop your pelvis, make sure your right knee, your right heel is still on the floor. 
Walk your hands forward, stay up on your hands, option one. Drop down to your left elbow, option two. Drop down to both forearms, option three, lizard pose. Optionally, keep the left knee on the ground or tuck your left toes, stretch back through the left heel, keeping your hips low, lift up that left knee. Three slow breaths. If your left knee is lifted, release the knee down. If you're on your elbows, lift back up onto your hands. Bring that right hand outside your right foot again and slide the left knee in a step. Then with an exhale, one-legged downward facing dog. So with your exhale, pull the belly in, lift the right leg up and back. You're in down dog with the right leg lifted. As you next exhale, bend the knee, roll the hip open, squaring your hips towards the right side of your room. Let it cook for a moment. And with your next inhale, straighten out the right leg again, square your hips, pigeon pose as you exhale. Rest the right knee on the floor behind the right wrist, right foot over to the left. Slide back through your left leg. Keep sliding the left leg back, but keep your hips square. Point the left toes down when, you're around, when you arrive. Come up onto your fingertips and lift up through your chest. Big breath in. Drop down to your elbows or lie all the way down onto your forehead as you breathe out. Check that your hips are in line. Maybe slide that right sit bone back a little more to press the bone into the muscle deep in the stretch. And send a swirling, healing, soothing breath down into that right hip. As with all hip work, you want to take care of your knees here. So if your knees aren't super happy, then release out of it. Maybe come to thread the needle lying on your back instead. Same rotation, less body weight into the knee. Two more breaths. And as you inhale, pad up onto your hands, tuck your left toes, and use your exhale, downward facing dog. Lift up through your hips and slide the right foot back. Pad out your heels for a moment, and either continue just in your down dog, padding out your heels, or flow through a vinyasa. Inhaling to plank pose, drop your knees if you want, and exhale, lie down or hover chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. As you inhale from down dog, walk, step, or jump the feet to your hands, heart forward when you get there. Exhale, fold down over your legs. Then just come back into that flat back position, inhale, draw the chest forward again, and step your right foot back into a deep lunge as you exhale. And then even try to bring the right foot a little further back, squirrel the right foot back. Release the right knee down and walk your left foot over to the left a couple of inches so you can bring your left hand inside the left foot. As you drop your pelvis and sink forward into your lunge, make sure please that the left heel stays down. Walk your hands forward on your mat and stay up on your hands, option one. Drop down to your right elbow, option two. Drop down to both forearms, both elbows, option three, lizard pose. Optionally keep your right knee on the ground or Tuck those right toes. Try to keep your hips super low. Just stretch back through that right heel to lift up the right knee. Keep grounding that left foot into your mat. Keep your hips nice and low. And one more breath. Softly replant your right knee if it's lifted. Come back up onto your hands. Bring your left hand outside your left foot again and creep your right knee in a little bit. Then with your exhale, coming into a one-legged down dog. So tuck the belly in, lift up and back through that left leg. And with your exhale, bend that left knee, roll the hip open, squaring your hips over to the left side of the space. With your next inhale, straighten out through the leg again. And exhale, pigeon pose. Left knee up on the floor behind the left wrist, left foot to the right. 
slide back through that right leg. Super back so that you're nice and square in your hips, your pelvis is close to the floor. Point those right toes back, top of the foot down. Come up onto your fingertips, lift up through your chest, big breath in, and release down to your forearms or all the way down, releasing onto your forehead as you breathe out. <coughs> and when you come down, you might find you can scroll that right foot a little further back, but try to keep your hips square, maybe even allowing that left sit bone to just gently travel back towards your right foot so you get that extra stretch into the deep musculature of the left hip. Let your shoulders soften, let your face soften, your hands soften, and just send your breath down into that left hip. And one more. Coming out a little different on this side. Inhale, pad up onto your hands. And then as you exhale, lean onto your left hip enough. Lean to the left so much that you can exhale and swing your right leg round in front of you. You're coming to sit down. Stretch both legs out in front of you. Stretch away through the heels. Draw back through the toes. We're coming into a seated forward bend. Use a strap around the balls of the feet if you can't quite touch your toes. Sit up tall as you breathe in. And fold your way forward and down as you breathe out. Hook up on your strap or grab the outer edges of your feet. And with each inhale, just draw the chest further forward towards the toes, stretching out through the backs of the legs, stretching out through your whole back. And as you exhale, folding just that little bit deeper, letting the head maybe release if that's helpful to your spine. As you inhale, pad your way back up again. Bend up your right knee, place your right foot on the floor, and hold that right knee with your left hand, right hand onto the floor behind you. As you inhale, sit up really tall, and as you exhale, twist around to the right side of the room. And if you're sensitive in your neck, keep your chin stacked on top of the sternum, but if your neck's happy to complete the twist, turn the gaze like you're peeking over your right shoulder. Maybe change the position of the left elbow if it helps you get into the twist a little deeper. Two more breaths. And as you inhale, just come back to center again. Little counter twist to the left as you exhale, de-rotating. And then come back to center and let's change sides. So right leg straightens out, left foot on the floor. Hold the left knee with your right hand, left hand behind you. And as you inhale, sit up tall. As you exhale, twist the chest round towards the left side of the space. Remember that little neck detail. So if your neck's not always so happy, then stack your chin above your sternum. Otherwise, continue the twist into your neck, peeking over your right shoulder. Maybe the right arm change, sorry, left shoulder. But maybe the right arm now changes position. Maybe hook the elbow around the knee, elbow outside the knee, whatever will help you into your twist. Take one more breath. And as you inhale, come out of the twist, come back to center. Exhale, a little counter twist to the right, de rotate again. Come back to center, straighten out both legs and scooch forward on your mat so you can come to lie down on your back. Knees bent, feet on the floor. For a moment, just rest your hands on your belly and observe how your relationship with gravity has changed by lying down. And then bring your right ankle across your left knee and hug in your left thigh or shin. Just thread the needle pose so your right hand has to go between the legs to hug in the left thigh or shin. Lengthen out through the back of your neck and draw the left leg a little further in towards you, stretching again through that right hip. Now feel free to stay here or holding behind the thigh as you exhale, straighten the left leg up towards the sky. 
you're going to open in this way and you'd like to transition the hands to hold the left calf instead, right arm no longer between the legs, <coughs> then do. And if the left leg's up in the air, circle the foot right from the ankle. Three circles one direction and three the other direction. When you've circled the foot six times, point and flex a couple of times, really curling the toes in as you point and really stretching up through the heel as you flex. But don't forget about that right leg too. Let the right thigh move away from you, ground your tailbone. Now if the left leg's up straight in the air, just bend the knee again. Let go with your hands and close the gap between the legs. So right thigh is all the way crossed over the left thigh. Now if you're tight in the hips, just hug in your shin. So you'll really just be hugging your left shin in. But if you're a bit more open, try to grab your feet or ankles. And as you move your feet apart from one another, hug the heels in towards your waist. So think cow face pose, gomukasana, lying on your back. And as you draw the heels towards the waist, make sure that the right knee is still right on top of your left knee and your tailbone's grounding down towards the floor. Now keep your legs as they are. Let go with the hands, reach the arms out to your sides. And you can always uncross your legs if this next twist will be too much. But as you exhale, drop your knees over to the left for a twist. So it's the right thigh crossed over the left thigh, knees over to the left. Again, being careful with your neck, maybe turn your gaze and look at that right hand. Take a breath. With an exhale, return your knees back up to center, uncross your legs, replant your feet, rest your hands on your belly, and again, just take a couple of moments, just observing the difference from one side to the other. And we'll change. Left ankle across the right knee. Hug in that right thigh or shin. Thread the needle pose. So left hand starts between the legs. Lengthen out through your neck. Settle to your, through your shoulders. And as you draw the right leg in, let the left leg move away from you. Ground the tailbone down. Now again, feel free to stay here. But if you want to develop it, interlace the fingers behind that right thigh. And with an exhale, straighten the right leg up in the air. If you're quite open in this way and you want to transition the hands and hold the right calf, left hand no longer between the legs, then do that too. And if the right leg's up in the air, let's do those three circles one way through the other. Not the whole leg, just localize from the ankle. And when you've done your circles, point and flex a few times. Curl the toes in and stretch the heel up. But again, at this point, don't forget about that left leg. Let the left thigh move away from you. Let the tail drop down. <coughs> Mindfully bend up the right knee again. Let go and cross the left thigh over the right thigh. So just closing the gap between the legs. If you're tight, you're hugging in the shins, which is mostly hugging in that right shin. If you're a bit more open, grab the feet or ankles, move the feet apart from one another, and draw the heels towards your waist. Supta Gomukasana. Ground down through the tail. Make sure that left knee is still hooked over your right knee. Even here, slide the back of your head back, chin and forehead in the same line. Now keep the legs doing what they're doing. Let go, reach the arms out by your sides. Remember, you can uncross your legs if you prefer, but with an exhale, twist to the right. Drop those knees over to the right. So it's your left thigh over your right thigh, knees to the right for your twist. Optionally, turn your gaze, look at that left hand. And with an exhale, return your knees, uncross your legs, place your feet back on the floor, rest your hands on your belly. Close your eyes and just take a couple of moments. And then with your next exhale, just stretch your legs out along your mat for a brief Shavasana. 
Turn the arms now so the palms face up by your sides. a little mental scan over your body and see where you're holding that you might just let go a little more deeply. If you feel like you'd like to stay in Shavasana, just stay as long as you want. If you're ready to come out, the next time you inhale, reach the arms up and over your head. Stretch the legs out. Take a moment there. Big full body stretch. And ground your lower back towards the floor a little bit so you can bend up your knees. Roll over onto your right side, using your right arm as a pillow. Keeping your head heavy, press your left hand into the floor and lift yourself up. Come to sit with your hands at prayer in front of your heart. Sit tall. Bow your head. Take a slow, nourishing, deep breath in. Breathe it out through your mouth. Namaste.